Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Aztecs haven't only flirted with disaster, they courted disaster, they romanced disaster, they've married disaster, they've become one with disaster. So finally, now at rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and they finally go up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. are about to go at it for state bragging rights. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Fresno State is lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 27. San Diego State staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk, and I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you get some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 29. Tackle at the 24. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. throw. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line. It's first down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 19. That'll bring up second and three. First and goal. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the three-yard line, first down. And they make the stop around the two-yard line. 
second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Aztecs. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's have a look at what's going on in Corvallis. And for Oregon State, they've won two straight. And for Levine, he had a touchdown run in this one. The Beavers take it by 11. Elsewhere, get you up to date on the action in Denton. And for North Texas, they've won two straight. The Mean Green storm home with a victory, 38-21. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Greer from the one. What a hit. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Decent run here, right side. Fresno State got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. He laterals the ball. And he's finally shoved out at the 37. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. You gotta be careful to avoid these. Down. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play quick strike to the receiver he's tackled the 33 yard line so they pick up quite a few yards on that play Kirk well that was an excellent route and he did a great job of holding on to the football That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Atkinson, the return man. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. San Diego State is up a score. And he's 
tackle that the positive yardage. That's a deep. That brings him second and five. Little handoff. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. We've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. San Diego State's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 39-yard line, first down. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. This is the eighth play of this drive. San Diego State up seven points. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. the 13. This is the 10th play of this drive. Johnson fakes a handoff. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. San Diego State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Keeping an eye on what's going on in San Mateo. And for SMU, they're playing great football right now. The Mustangs are on top, 27-16. 10-0 in this one. They line up to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's on the run, and down he goes around the 35-yard line. Smith gets about four yards on the play. Makes it out to about the 46. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Right, right, 
Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44. He's into the open field. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39. On the run. He gets hit out of bounds. The 24-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. They bring him down around the 13-yard line. the 10 yard line so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield we're at play number nine of this current drive got his man can't tack on any yardage who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. North Carolina State ready to tee it up in Raleigh. Here's a hotly contested battle. Ramsey's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. North Carolina State leads it 7-0 early in the second quarter. In another game, let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. This is a game we've been watching closely today. SMU in front, 30-16. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. The Bulldogs lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Brought down at the 35-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. San Diego State is up by three. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Caught out in the open. To the 20. Brought down at the 16-yard line. He gets to 100-yard receiving with that grab. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. Catches it, and that's all. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown! So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. 
So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review, review of the play, the, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 17-7. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. Greer from the seven. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 35. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Five wide. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. The offense gets a first down here. You've got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Tackle at the 45. That makes it second and two. Wide open, incomplete. Third down again. They come out in a five wide set. This one's going deep to the end zone. Now you hate to foreshadow and assume that that drop could come back to bite them, but if this offense is able to put the ball into the end zone after that drop pass, this game could be over. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aztecs right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half, you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this. And let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. So we've played two quarters. The Aztecs in front, 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they haven't been breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner, and those fat guys get the porterhouses, too. They're not a cheap day. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the court keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean, you know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get, you know, beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can you can uh, go ahead and say check please right over here cuz that QB better be taken care of. And the quarterback's calling home, "Mom, Dad, please send money." David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to air it long. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Jacobson brings it down to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. Key 15, key 15. Clock 38, clock 38. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in San Mateo. And for SMU, they continue their winning wave. SMU takes the two touchdown win. Separated by a field goal here, Reese, 17-14 in our game. Butler looks ready to kick this one off. Carter takes it from the six. He's taken down at the 27. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. San Diego State has a three-point lead. Tackle made at about the 35. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. About the 47 yard line. At the 47 yard line. First, First, down. Down. First and 10. Ball on their own 47. He 
He's at the 40. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. First down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws it to the outside. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. call to the tight end. Big payoff. Well, the offensive coordinator has wanted to incorporate this young player into their passing attack, and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Williams has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. San Diego State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space. And I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled right around the 30. Gets out to about the 31. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. The screen is good for four. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Martin awaits the snap. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. We see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Decent run here, right side. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He airs it out. This one will fall incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. He throws. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. Touchdown, San Diego State. to criticize a young man for being aggressive, but you got to be a little bit more disciplined to know what these coaches are up to with their play calls. I doubt that play would have happened if he hadn't jumped on the run fake. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 58-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. The score now, 31-14. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Miller fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 26-yard line.
Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he shoved out of bounds around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He makes the catch and has a first down. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Aztecs in front, 31-14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Sean is the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third. Third down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Drop down, right around midfield. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. And they make the stop right around the 40. sideline he's wiping his brow down there they just caught a big break that time because the quarterback just overthrew the ball and they'll look to convert here on another third down gets it out he's met immediately that's a loss of about five well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play they read it from the get-go it out in a hurry. Can't find his man, and they'll turn it over. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. third down and they need to get it inside the 48.
makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 46 yard line, it's first down. Just over two minutes in the game. At the 45. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Yeah, let's get second. Left. I got 40, I got 40. I sent him four. Gets out to around the 35. Game of 10 yards. First down. From the 35 yard line. First down. And he's tackled in the open field. That brings up second and nine. Side for a nice game. That'll bring up third and four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one: 31-14, Aztecs. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? San Diego State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.